Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome to an extra spooky Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's lovely world. <laughs> Ah oh dear, hello everybody, and welcome to my Halloween special. It's currently Halloween Eve, we've still got a few minutes until midnight, so it's not Halloween yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to sleep, and in the morning we're going to start our extra spooky Halloween celebrations. And so I'm going to- hey, wait a minute Lee, what are you doing still awake? I thought you went to bed absolutely ages ago. Are you too excited about Halloween so you decided to stay up? I can't blame you, I can't blame you. You. I am excited as well. Right, tell you what, seeing as it's almost midnight, how about instead of going to sleep, I tell you one or two ghost stories, and then we can stay awake and get really scared, and then once it's midnight, we'll go to sleep. So why don't you lie down in bed there, and I'm going to tell you the story about my ghost dogs. There is something that happens every night while we're in bed tucked up tight. My lovely world is overrun by ghosts of the animals I loved the most. Out of their graves my dead dogs float, boasting a new transparent coat. The dogs that I tried my best to raise, but died in a variety of ways. Porky didn't keep to the right, and Guilty Bark wouldn't sleep at night. Snowy went in an ironic way, and Chicken only lived for a day. Stampy Good Nose had a silly name, and Spring should have tried to be tame. Arrow had a nasty fall, and Oreo ignored my call. Tika went in an unexpected fire, and Cedric should have never gone higher. Lucky was chasing a villain on the run, and Aqua just wanted to join in on the fun. The Arbiter and Sparky, they died together. And Gregory, who I will love forever. Being ghosts, they can break all of the rules. Like magic, they can walk through my walls. But don't panic, remain calm. My ghost dogs mean no harm. Keep sleeping and stay bedded. My clubhouse is where they're headed. They walk there in a trance, and their only purpose is to dance. Don't feel sad for my dogs that have passed on, for now they live in an eternal song. They walked into the light, and now they disco every night. So that was the story about the ghost dogs and what happened to all of my dogs that had sadly passed away. It's nice to know that even though they're not with me, they're still having fun dancing up in my clubhouse. <laughs> anyway though, are you ready for ghost story number two? And things are going to start to get even spookier now as I tell you about evil Mr. Porkchop. In the haunted house that's forgotten by time lives the most evil type of swine. Even by using the strongest lock, you can't contain evil Mr. Porkchop. He has a secret that you should know. When the moon rises, he begins to grow. At night he has a transformation into a hideous creation. Pigman by night and pig by day. But it wasn't always this way. His true story has never been told, but evil Mr. Porkchop is very old. He used to be a human in the past, unaware his form wouldn't last. He worked as a shepherd every single day, and loved his job despite the low pay. He enjoyed looking after every single pig, and trying to make them very big. You see, he was working toward winning the prized Porker Award, the annual award for the biggest pig in the land, but he was always second, something he couldn't stand. This year he wanted to win more than ever, and would tend to his pigs in any type of weather. One day he was approached by an old woman in a cloak. She walked close to the shepherd and then she spoke. I know what you desire. I see in your heart there's fire. There is nothing that I do not know, including how to make pigs grow. If you accept my deal, your wish will become real. You will be second no more with a pig bigger than any before. In return, all I want is the rest of your swine. You keep the biggest pig, and the rest are mine. Your dream could come true today. So, young man, what do you say? Giving away all of his pigs would be a sin, but that was his only chance to win. What's the point in keeping the rest when you will own the very best? He quickly decided to accept a decision he would soon regret. Moments after nodding his head, he was filled with awful dread. The witch screeched an evil cantation. This started the transformation. 
evil Mr. Porkchop had misunderstood the deal, but it was too late now as he started to squeal. He was turned into a monster, half pig and half man. The witch cried out at him as she ran. Your obsession with winning corrupted your mind. You mistreated your pigs, now you're their kind. Rather than fulfilling your greed, help others that are in need. You abandoned your pigs just because they looked frail. Now live the rest of your life with a curly tail. Don't try to complain. Don't try to shout. No one will understand you. Now you have a snout. This was the last of the witch he ever heard. And in his head he replayed every word. This all happened long ago in the past. But as the witch claimed, the spell did last. The snout and curly tail were there to stay. Evil Mr. Porkchop is a pig to this day. Now, I don't want to cause alarm, but make sure you lock up your farm. Evil Mr. Porkchop has a plan to be turned back into a man. Your pig's safety should be of your concern. He wants to steal them so the witch will return. If he has enough of the animals he used to adore, he hopes she will restore him to how he was before. So look after your pigs if you want any relief. Evil Mr. Porkchop is a nasty pig thief. Okay, Lee, okay, Lee, calm down. Are you sure you're going to be able to sleep after I tell you all of these ghost stories? You seem to be getting very excited. <laughs> okay, then, I've got one more story to tell you, and this is about the history of Googly Island, one of the oldest and most mysterious places in all of my lovely world. Googly Island is a piece of land where the Googlies often stand. It's not coincidence they all go to that place. It's of great importance to the Googly race, Long ago, Googlies weren't bad, unless something made one mad. They roamed the land and lived a peaceful life, enjoying time with few worries or any strife. They didn't work or build, and nature provided their guild. They left the world the same as when they arrived, and without any tools, they couldn't change it if they tried. There was one Googly that ruled them all, a wise old creeper that was strong and tall. They called him King Creeper. He was their leader and their teacher. He taught about only taking what you need, and how the mind corrupts with greed. Like the other Googlies, he owned nothing, but still, he was more than happy living atop that hill. The Googlies were content and easily survived, until one day, a human arrived. He moved next to the hill with no intentions to leave, an ignorant human referred to by others as Steve. King Creeper watched as animals were killed. He cut down trees and started to build. The Googly simply looked on and frowned as Steve started to reshape the ground. Seeing their land get destroyed was far too tough and one day they decided they had had enough. They went up to Steve and they started to moan about how he was ruining their home. Unfortunately, the message was missed as the Googly's groaned, sizzled and hissed. Steve ignored them and continued to build his elaborate mansion on the Googly's field. King Creeper, once calm, now was fuming. He ran to Steve's mansion and started booming. His last sound was a hiss that he sung, followed by an enormous bang! The Googly's couldn't believe what they saw. A Creeper had never exploded before. Steve looked at the wreckage and then he said, You're all bad mobs, and then he fled. The Googlies knew one thing for sure. Their peaceful existence was no more. They had to learn how to fight in order to defend what's right. They had to protect nature's beauty, even if that required getting a little shooty. They will never forget the Creeper King and what he sacrificed to battle sin. In respect to their king, it's where they stand, his old home, Googly Island. And that was the final ghost story of the night. And wait a minute, Lee. Have you seen the time? It's gone midnight, which means it's now Halloween. Whoop, 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 whoop. Happy Halloween, Lee. And happy Halloween to everybody watching today. We both hope you all have an amazing day. And if you are getting dressed up and going trick-or-treating, we hope you get lots and lots of candies and uh, don't get scared too much tonight. <laughs> uh, but for us, it's still very late. So we are going to go to sleep. So scuttle upstairs, Lee, and uh, you can go and now rest your head and hopefully uh, you don't have too many nightmares from the ghost stories I've told you. But don't worry, Lee. Everything I said was just a story. Nothing can actually hurt us here inside of my lovely world. We are absolutely safe. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching and we will see you all later. 
Bye.